All right, so we are recording. Cool. Then I'm going to stop talking about drugs. Just Why? kidding. <coughs> Why? Drugs are cool. <coughs> Let's get a beer started. Beer. Beer. Beer, yeah. Beer. Thank you, dear. There we go. Thank you. I know. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. All right. Yeah. Disregard his headphones or his uh, his sunglasses. That's just his thing. I like it. Yeah. That's, I like uh, it. That's so you know. That's so you don't know that I'm really really high. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shtick. Mm-hmm. Actually, because uh, well, when I first started this podcast, I was I wasn't smoking weed. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, man, I like I have to smoke weed if I'm going to do a podcast. Like, oh fuck I can't, yeah. yeah. So I started smoking weed, and then I would get very self-conscious when I'm talking to people because I'm like, dude, like I sound stoned. I probably look super stoned. Mm-hmm. This ain't working out. And then I started wearing the sunglasses, and it, it's the big daddy effect. That's what I call it. <laughs> it, makes me, it makes me invisible. <laughs> I, um, oh, that's cute. I got my picture taken at the DMV high as fuck. So yeah, just um, in, in the event yeah. that I happen to be <laughs> high and get pulled over, I will look like... My it's idea. just the way I look, officer. Yeah, <laughs> and they'll check it out and they'll look and they're like, "Oh, he's not high. He's just regular." Yeah, it's just just him yeah, being that's himself. A, yeah, that's <laughs> actually Ryan's new bit too. He has a bit like that. Yeah, Ryan's new bit. He talks about how um, hanging out, drinking, like, and then his friend asks him like, "Hey, you too drunk to drive?" And he's like, "No, nah, I'm regular." <laughs> yeah. Meaning that he's no more drunk than he usually is. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Oh, Andrew says hi. Hi, Andrew. Yes, Miss Physique. My girl. She's so beautiful. I should be Physique for Halloween. <laughs> Amanda's banned from scum. Don't invite her anymore. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, uh, I should just be banned from hard liquor for a while. No, just their drinks. I shouldn't drink there. Because they're cheap and like gay bars don't fuck around with their alcohol. They really you ever, don't. You ever, yeah, you ever drink at a gay bar? Oh yeah, they're amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I get freaking <clears throat> slammed because I went with two other friends and we're like, okay, like, well, you bought the first round, so it's only fair that I buy the second round. And then the third person's like, oh, well, then I'll buy the third round. I was like, I guess I'm having three strong ass drinks. Let's <laughs> yeah, do it. I guess I'm having three whiskeys with a little bit of ginger ale. Yeah. I, uh, I w- when I first moved out here, um, I went to the Abbey. Because I was a single guy, and apparently that's what you do. Oh, I'm good. I got to drive. Uh, but I, I guess, like, when you're a single guy, you go to the Abbey because it's, like, heavily gay. And so the, mm-hmm. the women have their guard down. They're not expecting to be hit on. Right. It, it's, it's a terrible idea. Don't that. do it. No, no, no. It's, it's a really good idea. <laughs> Keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, Are I'm we trying started? to get on my friends. Have we started yet? We no, 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 no. We haven't started This yet. is just banter. Yeah, this is bantering. But yeah, we're about to start right now. So we got okay. music all queued up. Um, we got a few people listening on the live feed. We've got Man, total. fuck those people. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we got a total of five people, not including myself. Hey. So see? that's cool. We always start mm-hmm. out strong, but stick around. It's going to be a good episode, guys. Should be a good episode. All right. So a uh, couple things. We have always never have a plan. So we're just going to kind of banter. Talk about you. Shoot the shit. We'll ask you questions. Mm-hmm. We'll talk to you about what you do the first half. And then uh, second half, after we take a break, we're kind of just shooting the shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about whatever. Nice. Or, yeah. Kind of like what we were doing mm-hmm. earlier, just nice. casual. Uh, episodes uh, usually try to keep them around an hour, so shouldn't be too long. Cool. Should cool. fly right by. <clears throat> All right. So we should be ready to go. Fuck. Someone's taking a shower. So all you're going to hear is in the background. Course. It's all right, though. <clears throat> all right, so we ready? You ready? ready, kids? Yeah. Buckle in. Buckle in. Let's do this. Red talk, motherfucker. Get damn with it. He did it. He shit it all over. What a fake bitches, man. I kind of smoking dang. Kicking ass on the side. Bringing that flavor. She elevating the vibe. Boom, bitty vibe. I who's getting high. Everybody is bitch. Watch your time flies with that real talk with a steel car. Taste it. Cheers with a twist. Then your chin on your face. Cheers. Podcast basics. Ace it. Go with eight shit. Up the ante when they blaze and I take it in. From the gays to the scum to the friends. Every Wednesday when the day is all in. Wish they had the synergy. This is rad talk, catch an ice bag injury. Y'all moving like a motherfucking centipede. We accelerate just to devastate the industry. Horse got the boss, wait, this could be the enemy. Turn that fucking mic on, I guess we'll have to see rad talk. 
the, okay, I'm listening to that theme song now, and I'm barely realizing what one of the lyrics is. What? Is, Everybody's gay at the end of the day it was one of the lyrics, and I was like, oh, "Yeah, dude, that's fucking awesome." Welcome to another episode of Red Talk, guys. I mean, oh gosh, hey, <clears throat> you're all about to become a bunch of fucking homos right now listening to this shit, dude. Let's but do it. <laughs> here, I, <laughs> but here he starts another episode of Red Talk with me as always is the beautiful Amanda Cano. Hello, hello. And our guest today is the great Dan Pina. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. wait. We already, we actually have that. <laughs> you yes. always forget about it. I do. I forget about all my. I have some really good sounds that I need. To, I, I need to start practicing on you gotta it. Got That's em. why I keep it. That's why I keep it down here. They yeah, are, they are labeled. I just have to remember them. They're not labeled. They're numbered. <laughs> the keys are numbered. <laughs> but anyway, we're here hanging out with Dan. Dan, you are an entertainer. I guess would be the best word uh, because actually. I, don't take this the wrong way, but I was just talking to you about my bro with my brother. Mm, yeah. Good things or bad things. All good, all good. Oh, of course, nice. yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah. His actually, well, this is one of the things he said. I was like, because I was like, yeah, dude, I'm excited. You know, fucking Chris Pratt, man. Like, uh, oh, totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know you get that a lot. Yeah. For sure, you get that a lot. It's one it, of my opening it's, jokes. It's actually very funny that uh, you're wearing a Jurassic Park T-shirt. <laughs> 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 but no, but then he tells me he's like, yeah, dude, he's like Chris Pratt with the voice of Chris Parnell, and I was like. <laughs> I, I, okay, but I don't hear it. I'm sorry. I, I get a I get a mixture of Chris Parnell and Seth Rogen all the time. I, like if they had a hybrid sense. baby, that, that makes sense. Yeah. That make, uh, actually, yes, I, that <laughs> does. That is that's actually perfect. So you're saying if Seth Rogen and <laughs> Chris Par- I forgot his name, Chris Parnell had a baby. And then your mom met that baby, and those two babies met and fucked. Sorry, Seth Rogen. Uh, <laughs> Seth Rogen reference right there. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know where I was going with that one. but uh, uh, Side th- note real quick. Uh, Gabriel says, that is definitely not the lyric. <laughs> what? That he is not that, the lyric? That that's, is not. That's what it everybody's like. gay at the oh. end of the day. He did not say that. Then what is it? What is I don't know. Sound, that's what it sounds like to me. I don't know. He just commented you, saying that song you know, definitely the, the, doesn't next, say that. Uh, next, theme, next, next theme, dude, we're going to rewrite it, and that's going to be one of the theories. Everybody's so, yeah. gay at the end Everybody, of the day. Yeah, everyone's gay at the end of the day. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I did musical theater in college, and uh, that, that was uh, very accurate. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> at the end of, of the day, <laughs> you walk home like, Mother, I am yeah. home. <laughs> Where is the dinner? There is no dinner. <laughs> I, that just reminds me of South Park right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking that <clears throat> South Park episode. Mm-hmm. But uh, speaking of, okay, so you did musical theater. You do comedy. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you even have some acting credit, too. Like, you are you are, you are kind of getting out there, man. Gotta, like, gotta have a few things on the fire, you yeah. know, uh, a few things on the back burner. Really, and just kind of keep really them rotating. It's a really impressive resume, for sure. Like, yeah, Ryan was Thank telling you. me, and I was getting nervous. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Did we actually we got somebody important <laughs> like uh, the, the most important people i've interviewed are drag queens man that, that, yeah. that's easy you know like what I, what do you <laughs> that's, well, I, that's I, I can't hold a candle to them they are way more entertaining than i could ever be it, it but is, y'all it's essentially do the same shit you work on your set you mm-hmm. you show up oh, you sure. don't always get paid but you know drinks are free usually mm. I'm sure there's a lot of drugs available to you. And oh, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you, can, you do maybe a few degrading things for money. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually very, yeah. very accurate. That's uh, for everything. My for parents crime. are very proud. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure. Yeah, I know that's the, the same thing. I'm yeah, sure. our, our mother. Yeah, our mother is very proud of Ryan too. Like <laughs> talks about him all of the Ryan. time. Oh, she is proud of him. Dude, though. are you kidding? Yeah, are you kidding though? She loves that shit though. Like if if Ryan would like every if every show she went to and Ryan would be like, yeah, that's my mom. Like she would love it every single time. Like she would not get tired of that at all. She is uh-huh. that kind of lady. Mm. <clears throat> Always very supportive. Oh yeah, um, but uh, you actually did a, a show at the at the dollar, which actually just recently happened yeah. too. Yeah, yeah you did a show at the dollar, mm-hmm. and uh, that was that was awesome because I was in the same uh, lineup with uh, with Ryan. So it was mm-hmm. cool. yeah, that was mm-hmm. actually Ryan's first time doing an actual set too for for oh, the yeah, dollar. He's that always, was, yeah, that, and the mic was hosting. Right? Yeah, he, yeah, he was always yeah. Ryan always hosted because he put the show together. Everybody knows his face, so okay. got the crowd comfortable for a while. Then yeah, Mike started doing it. Mike mm-hmm. didn't do a very good job last night. Sorry. 
<laughs> nah. But it was okay. It was it, it was okay. I mean that that show was was fun, and it's funny that you, yeah. Well, you have the, your whole opener that like okay, I know I look like Chris Pratt and everything. Yeah. Like, I, w- w- how soon did you start getting that? Uh, with the I actually started off um, doing stand up as like a class. Someone did told me to do it as a dare. And so, like, really? one of the, what, as soon as I walked in the door and started talking, they were like, ah, you are, you know, Chris Pratt and, you know, Seth Rogen meets, uh, uh, uh what's his name? Jim so Gaffigan. Every, yeah, everybody was um, already just yeah. making fucking orgies, uh, like yeah. celebrity <laughs> orgies in there. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I just kind of, I just kind of picked it up and ran with it. And, that, yeah, and so so that, uh, that's like what, your first bit that you kind of, yeah, with that was my, that's my opener. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's actually, and it's real raw too. Like, yeah. So you got into comedy for, from taking a class? Like, uh, what, where did you go to, uh, to take a comedy? I didn't, I didn't even know they had comedy classes. Yeah, that's not oh, yeah. comedy classes. They've got comedy classes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, those... I mean, I've heard of like Groundlings and um, and um, uh, fuck, I forget oh, yeah. the other one. The one the UCB. That, uh, uh, I yes. imagine it to yeah. be kind of like mm-hmm. an improv class in a way where you just have people. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, improv classes. I know there's improv. Yeah. classes. I, I took Groundlings and I did UCB and I, I I did all that improv stuff and it is fantastic. I mm-hmm. love it. Uh, yeah, but uh, that that comes way more naturally to me. Than mm. say stand up where it's very very formulaic. Yeah. So because uh, uh, with improv, it's it's all about uh, being with the audience and you're discovering the comedy together. Yeah. So you're kind of mm. on the same team uh, versus stand up where everybody's like, okay, you've had plenty of time to put this together. Mm. Show me everything by the yeah. formula. Show me what you Show got. Me what yeah. you got. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I like, like that. Yeah, Rick and Morty. Yeah, you're, do, you're, yeah. you're the deliverer, pretty much. Like you, yeah. you're, you're the one that's bringing the funny. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. You're not just like making it up out of nowhere. Ah, oh, man, I love improv, man. That's like the most pure. It's a lot of yeah, fun. I was it's terrified of form. improv when I first started acting and doing my thing. Mm-hmm. Like in high school, especially, I was all self conscious. So I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, yeah. And then I'd just see people up there being so effortless and they were hilarious. And then it kind of just clicked that you just have to Did like, the improv class let go come first before the comedy class or? Yeah, yeah. I started okay. off doing those uh, when I moved to LA. And wait, so uh, where are you from? Uh, we didn't even ask you. Like, who, who are you? Who, <laughs> who are you? I'm no one. Who are you? Smoke bomb. <laughs> um, <laughs> so wait, where are you from? Yeah. Uh, you? Originally, I'm from Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And uh, I did. Shout out, shout out Texas, man. Yeah. They're, they're staying strong out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I, my, my whole family's still in Texas, so mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm kind of like the adventurer of my family. Uh, mm-hmm. okay. when I was 18, I, I moved to New York City and went to college up there for acting and theater. And while I was up there, um, I realized that there were very few opportunities for comedians. Mm-hmm. So, uh, a few of my friends and I started, uh, an improv and sketch stand up troupe. Mm-hmm. And uh, nice. with our college, and then I took UCB out there, and uh, I hated it. I hated UCB yeah. uh, because what's UCB? What is it? Uh, the Upright Citizens Brigade. Yeah, it's it's like, the yeah. one started by Amy Poehler mm-hmm. and Matt Walsh and Matt Besser. Um, they uh, they're great, and uh, but they are very. You have to stick to this kind of formula. Oh, okay. But don't think about the formula. But think about the formula. <laughs> and, so, and so that very kind of, contradicting. Like, yeah. wait, so do like I stick have to it, the formula? It's or? like have it ingrained in you, like a habit, but don't mm-hmm. think about it. Exactly, exactly. And then uh, I did Groundlings, and uh, I swear by that. Cause Groundlings is you know the Marine Corps of comedy. It's uh-huh. amazing, and uh, that one is yeah, a lot more character things. based and. You have a lot more uh, elbow room, just so long as you stay true to your character. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, obviously, uh, I got kind of... I'm, I'm on the waiting list for the writing lab for Groundlings. And I was like, well, oh, what can okay. I do to pass the time? And somebody dared me to try uh, stand-up. And so, mm-hmm. uh, just on a dare, I took a class. And, uh, and then one of the guys over from Comedy Store, I guess... Uh, like headhunted me or whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, before you know that it, I found boy. myself like uh, opening for Anthony Jeselnik and a few other oh, like, shit. You know, mm-hmm. and no stuff shit. like that oh, over okay. at Comedy Store. Ah, uh, you know, uh, he, uh, he was scouting. He was looking for somebody that can probably be a bringer, you know? Yeah, those bringer shows. Mm-hmm, those bringer shows, yeah. <laughs> get, the, get the fresh meat. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You're brand new? <laughs> Come with me. Tell 10 friends. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of that yeah, going on. Tell 10 friends you get yeah. five minutes. <laughs> What's up, Harry? Shout out to H Town. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey, there you, you go. More your shout outs going around. Uh, Man, we really abused the shout out button the last uh, when we had. Oh, <laughs> we I know. Had, we always uh, do uh, it. Lady Forbidden. And, oh, I know, because yeah. they know everybody. So shout out to this person. Yeah. Shout out to this club. <laughs> shout out to this group of people. Mm hmm. It was just shout outs. Oh, so nothing. what'd you do after the, uh, well, what was your, your first uh, comedy show then? Your first actual where you're on the lineup and everything? How did that go? Oh, my God. Um, for Comedy Store or just like in general? In general. In yeah. general. Well, yeah, what in, was your first, what was your first uh, experience? Being oh, my God. Like, I was so sing. nervous. So yeah. nervous. I had never done it before. Mm-hmm. And at the last minute, uh, I was still making changes to my set. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I went up on stage. She palms are sweaty, arms, knees are heavy. Mom's forget, you know. <laughs> and uh, but I nailed it. I nailed it. And uh, and and one okay. of the guys from comedy nice. store was right there. And uh, and he was generous. Only five people. Only five people. Oh, I had okay. to bring. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> and so uh, and so yeah. Uh, ever since then, it's been something that kind of has been perpetual. It just kind of mm-hmm. you know one gig leads into another gig leads into and another the, gig. It, okay. So, but comedy isn't your first wasn't your first choice either. Like you said, you went to to acting and everything. Like you went to school for acting. Well, um, actually, comedy is kind of my first choice. Um, even though I did a lot of acting mm-hmm. in high school and middle school and all that stuff, uh, and even in college, um, I it was something to do. You know, mm-hmm. uh, and because when when you're in like a, a cast or something, you see these people you get to hang out with them uh, every single day, uh, which was a lot of fun. Uh, but you have to um, compromise a lot, you know, uh, particularly like when when you're uh, a performer, you're mm-hmm. very much uh, at the behest of the director and uh, and producers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so uh, and, and and even the casting director. Yeah. So you kind of have to like not necessarily kiss ass, but you kind of have to get along with everybody. Suck up a little yeah, bit. Yeah. 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 Or at least just play make by a good their impression, rules. you know, yeah. Yeah. be polite, play by their rules. Yeah. yeah. yeah but okay, but yeah. comedy, you can be, it's your rules. I mean, be, yeah. essentially like yeah. it's your, it's your set, it's your material. It's exactly. Your, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a little more liberating than, you know, yeah, you just you cut know. out like that whole middleman. Like I don't need a casting director. Uh, yeah. To be able to go out there and do mm-hmm. comedy. I mean, you still kind of need to kiss people's asses and get along with people in a, to a certain mm-hmm. extent, but like you're your own boss. And yeah, you're not relying on yeah. somebody else to like, hey, get me this job. It's all on you, but you got to kiss somebody's ass to get on their show mm-hmm. or know somebody who can get you on this uh, get me on the show. Oh, yeah. I've got yeah. a few of those. Um, really? Look yeah. at this guy, man. Look at this guy <laughs> over, over here. here. <laughs> Shit. Oh, uh, one, one, of them, one of them's pretty new, actually. I'm, I'm, excited about, uh, <laughs> I'm excited about my comedy agent. I got him through the Burbank Comedy Festival, which is oh, pretty nice. nice. Yeah. So, uh, so stuff actually does mm-hmm. happen at the yeah. Burbank Comedy Festival. <laughs> 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 okay, so what, uh, what, are your, what are your favorite shows then that you've done so far? Like, what, are, what are some of the most memorable, I guess, the biggest ones? My first time at Comedy Store. For sure, mm-hmm. um, because I was uh, that was you said Anthony Jeselnik, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I opened for him on uh, a, a few of the folks over there, uh, Theo Vaughn, and uh, I could you know name names and stuff, but no one's really interested in that. Um, mm-hmm. I, I thought I was hot shit, you know, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I was like in the main room, getting cut, you know? yeah, yeah, and there's hundreds of people out there. And uh, this guy was talking me up about how great I was, so I had like this kind of like idea of how my set was going to go. And uh, I went out there in front of hundreds of people and bombed, immediately mm. bombed. And, uh, and I was like, okay, well, that's the first 30 seconds, but I could, I could still kind of, but I had seven minutes yeah. and, mm-hmm. I, and I bombed I could still all seven bomb. minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so like you could tell who I brought and all five of my friends were like, ha ha, this guy's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> you had the one guy like, ah. yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So that, was, that was definitely a pretty memorable time for me. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. I mean, shit, at least you still got those five people out there <laughs> yeah. pulling support. Yeah. <clears throat> I know that's how I feel when I've seen a certain a person's bit over and over and over again, and I already know it, but mm-hmm. I'll still give a chuckle because I feel like it's huh. polite. <laughs> 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 why, is, why, why is yours like Cooney Herman? <laughs> uh, that was funny. 
<laughs> so uh, okay, so that was one. What was your your best one then? Where you had the greatest like where where, where you felt like ah, I am king right now. I'm king of comedy. Probably when I got my first paycheck for really? doing there for doing nice. yeah. that was mm-hmm. that was I, when yeah, you make the transition like from like amateur to mm-hmm. professional which really? is what cool. show was that one that was actually over at um the federal bar with shout out to tk madison if yeah, uh there you go. There. yeah he's a, he's a great producer and uh he gave me my my first headlining gig uh oh, over okay. at the federal bar and so uh, he's a good friend of mine. And uh, in addition to that, uh, this this guy took me uh, as as just kind of like a from bringer show mm-hmm. rookie, and uh, and gave me lots of chances. Mm-hmm. And uh, and and I would like to think that I did well with those with those opportunities. And because um, he he even took me on tour with him when uh, so I've got to go on a few tours and yeah. stuff like see, that. Which see is see the world. And, yeah. Well, America. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see the rest of the United States. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit. It's more more than I've seen. The farthest I've gone is Vegas, man. Like Vegas is dope, though. Vegas you know? is amazing. I mean, that's pretty much like every piece of the world mm-hmm. all in one, on, all in one street. Yeah, just I size mean, down. It's yeah, a better yeah. Scale. Everything's a little smaller, and you, and you can drink the entire time. So I yeah. mean, so everything's basically the same size. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody speaks English at Paris. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Vegas. We uh, pray for you guys. I know. Oh, oh, man, shit's Vegas. fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's bad. Don't don't want to bring the room down. So okay, so you got you do your comedy gigs and everything. As uh, what about your acting gigs? Uh, well, what are your some of your more? The those are uh, oh man, I would say my my big claim to fame in terms of acting. I mean, I'm I've always got my hands in like other projects and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, I would say the the most fun that I uh, had was I was uh, Hazel's boyfriend on Gossip Girl for an episode for oh. one episode for one episode nice. and, uh, and I it was, was it to make the other guy jealous like just, yes really? yeah. <laughs> I don't watch Gossip Girl like, but I know no, people who do so that's I bang, cool look why I bang this one episode <laughs> yeah I, I remind my girlfriend every night you know like I was Hazel's boyfriend for an episode on Gossip Girl. <laughs> Like uh, that, that's my standard, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shit! So yeah, yeah, like that. That one was a fun one. Mm-hmm. I've I produced pilots and and I write a lot uh, oh, okay. for other stuff. So uh, it's just a matter of trying to. Because mm-hmm. I mean, like in this town, you always start off with something kind of small, like an idea, yeah. and then just hope to to grow it. Do you have so, anything yeah. like a uh, broadcasting? Well, not broadcast, but like anything like on YouTube or? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, like totally screamed into this mic. Um, yeah, I've got a few things on YouTube. I've got a few things mm-hmm. up on Funny or Die. Um, mm-hmm. In fact, when I moved out here, I had the intention of uh, filming a lot of my own stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I I was like, I need a camera because I'm tired of renting other people's equipment. Yeah. Right. And so I worked at the L.A. Zoo selling hot dogs. Nice. Monday through Friday selling hot dogs at the Gorilla Grill. And then I, I, I say yeah, <laughs> everyone loves the Gorilla yeah, Grill. The Gorilla Grill. Uh, and so I've got I've got a whole set just on the LA Zoo <laughs> in my time there. And uh, I can imagine <laughs> <laughs> all you see is crazy shit mm-hmm. at the LA Zoo. Um, Kids falling into gorilla cages and shit. Uh, there was a chimp that escaped. There was a chimp that That's escaped. That's awesome. Yeah. And, uh, and Did you she, have to call Ronald Reagan or something? It's like the walking dead. People start panicking and asking to like go inside your food stand. But, uh, the, but you're like, <laughs> shut no. <laughs> Shutter the windows. Lock the doors. Just people screaming and begging to be let in. On the yeah. other side. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hands on the windows. It's just uh, one chimpanzee. Yeah. I don't know. Chimpanzees are scary. Though. Yeah, they'll, oh, they'll rip your face rip, off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they'll rip your face off and poop on it. <laughs> for sure, yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I saved up money just doing that and got myself a camera. Nice. And uh, and then I became the because this town is like filled with actors and entertainers. Mm-hmm. I became mm-hmm. the guy with the equipment to shoot everybody's <laughs> stuff. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah. So I had to take like a step back. So as uh-huh. soon as someone dared me to like do stand up, I was like, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, sure, get me the fuck out of here, yeah, man. I got to yeah. get a new lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, you actually didn't say when you came to L.A., actually. We, we mentioned you, you were in L.A. What, around what time did you come to L.A.? Um, like, I what, what was the for like... What was the reason, I guess, to come to L.A. just the, the whole... Hazel's boyfriend, yeah. you know? Was, uh, really, I, actually, you got the offer for that, and they're like, come down to L.A.? and I, I, I got the offer for that, and, uh, and I guess it, it was shortly after uh, like the whole housing market and all that other stuff crashed mm-hmm. in 2008, so like... 
January 2009, I came out here thinking, oh, you know, I've got lots of friends in L.A. Someone's bound to hand me a script right off the plane. Mm -hmm. It's not the case no. in L.A. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's never uh, is. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry you had to uh, experience. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I beat all my video games. So, no, you know, just there waiting, sitting on my couch waiting yep. for that phone call. So, uh, I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and then you yeah, and then you sit there like what do what do I play now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> But um so okay, so you came down what was that? You said 2000 like 2000, 2009, yeah. 2009. Yeah, and and now it's kind of like snowballed into this uh, this mm -hmm. like well, I guess I'm seeing this casting director again. I guess you know, uh, so mm -hmm. I'm at least getting called in. I'm at okay. least getting yeah, auditions. You're still getting and stuff. busy out there. It's a numbers thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eventually you'll get something. Yeah, you know, one of one of these days, <laughs> one of these days after like a hundred no's, then mm -hmm. maybe. Oh yeah, oh a hundred. That's uh, that's very. Uh, Optimistic. But, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably in the thousands. <laughs> Man, I, actually, I was going to say, that, yeah, 100, that's actually not that bad. Or, like, that sounds like <laughs> yeah. a good number. Like, oh, fuck. You're right. Like, it's, it's, it's getting dry out yeah, there. Amanda is not yet jaded if she's saying yeah. <laughs> Just threw Just out a number. Out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the wrong number. Um, I guess, yeah, let's take a break, right? So it's, uh, it's good, yeah. Call halftime right now. It's a pretty good 25 minutes in. Rock and roll. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, we actually got a band called Caustic. This was another band that was recommended to us by Bria. Bria, okay. the uh, metal chick that's going to be coming in on an episode uh, yeah. two weeks. Two weeks, I think. Two or three weeks. Something I don't know. I gotta, like yeah, that. Something like that. I got to confirm right there. But, uh, uh, but yeah, she'll be <clears> This is another one of her suggestions that I fucking dig. And they're uh, Caustic out of L.A. That's K-A-U-S-T-I-K. Mm -hmm. uh, you can check them out at causticband.com. They have all of her shit there. Uh, this is their song, Three Bottles of Whiskey, and you can guess why I picked this song. <laughs> so uh, we'll be right back, guys.
know. I was actually hey. all quick with that, dude. Did you see that? I all know. Quick with that. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're back. <clears throat> yeah, we're back. We're actually just talking about beers right now because beers are fucking cool. These mm-hmm. are actually really good mm-hmm. that you yeah. brought in. Yeah, thank you for bringing these in. The Absolutely. Golden Road Heffenweizen. Yeah, Ooh. it's got like just a little hint of banana in there, mm-hmm. which is kind of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I enjoy a good half. Yeah, I enjoy a good half. I'm not really into halves, but I do but enjoy a one. good one. Yes, a good yeah. one. Yeah. This one's kind of has slight hops. Mm-hmm. It has a little bit of a hoppy taste to it. Either that or I'm getting the banana because it definitely doesn't taste like a, banana. Just a regular <laughs> banana. <laughs> it doesn't taste like a regular standard Heffenweizen. No. So I dig it. Good. Good. But uh, okay, but actually, that uh, what you were saying was actually really interesting. So you you were at a wedding at Lagunitas. I was. Yeah, it was really cool. That. Yeah. God, I fucking love that place, dude. Yeah. It's so nice up there. And like they had a giant truck with taps on it. Yeah. And you just you yeah, just walk up to it. it and you just you know help yourself to and they no had way. yeah oh, and then they had uh, they had a uh, a tractor. Uh, that would normally like hold hay or whatever, but they just filled it with ice and bottles, bottles? and bottles oh. and bottles of Lagunitas. Oh. Nice. Yeah, that's like heaven for me. Was it? Uh, was it in the uh, beer garden or was it at the uh, like in the back, like in the farm area? It was the farm area. The farm area. Yeah. God, that's even nice. Yeah. That's it, even was, more it was. Re- it was really really dope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Cause yeah, when, uh, the whole VIP tour that we took when we went there, they showed us everything. Like. Mm. Like, she brought us to the back. She was like, you know, the chick was all holding a beer, sipping on a beer, giving us a tour. Like, what do you guys see out there? And we're like, nothing. She's like, yeah, we own that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, that shit out there is ours. We grow all of our fucking food there, all of our cows, chickens. They're all free range like that. We're like, oh, fuck, that's badass. <laughs> that's badass that you can give a tour like that. Though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's like, that's a brewery that cares. They're really sweet people over there. Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. man. That's what I really appreciate. I want to yeah. fucking get a, get a job there. Oh, Garrett, Brian, says, Garrett says they did add hops to the half. No, the but he beer. was. I think he was making a super bad reference. Oh. I heard they recently added more hops, hops t- t- to it. To it. Mm-hmm. Super bad. Get it? <laughs> Sick <laughs> reference, bro. Sick <laughs> reference. <laughs> oh, man. I, didn't, I don't have that sound bit. <clears throat> the sick references. Yeah, the sick references. We just have that that one. Pew pew pew. Oh no! Oh, no, <laughs> no, I, no, I, no, I, no! I just it's it's all about the timing, man. You know, because you never know when the suspense is gonna. Yeah. Quick, tell a sad story. I love it. <laughs> no, no, tell a sad story. Quick, tell a sad story. Go. <laughs> my my kitten uh, had other kittens and they died. So sad. These kittens. I actually hate cats, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really like a sad it's not really story. Sad story. It's I'm just like, really good, fuck those it, cats. Know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, I forgot one of these sound bites that we have. I feel like the horn is the only one that we. Oh, the yeah. fart, the fart one's good. Yeah, that was good. That, that was that one. That was the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. That's basically what's going on right now, pretty much. <laughs> you know, we reached that that yeah, point that in the point, episode yeah. where we're literally just <clears throat> shooting the shit, or just fucking talking shit. Out, man, I like it. Shit I like talk. it. What was your uh, uh, craziest thing that you've seen in the industry so far? Oh, man. other than mountain, little tiny piles of coke. There's no mountains. No, that, no, that, that is not true about Hollywood. They're, 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 they're more just lots of hills. <laughs> I mean, they're they're comedians, you know. Yeah. So, like to some degree, they're still kind of like starving artists. So instead of like <laughs> mountains of coke, they're like these little tiny piles. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> it's like if you stacked like a, a dollar's worth of quarters, it's four. You know, like there you go. There's your coke. There's your coke. <laughs> Here's the, your little half right there, and then yeah. this is for me. Here's a little for you, and this is for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, crazy things that I have seen. Um, I have uh, an, I, I, when one of my other survival jobs before I started doing stand up. Um, I, I wor- survival okay, jobs. I know, okay, that, that, okay. Now I know what you mean. Like I was yeah. like, wait, survival? Like you were in the fucking forest? Like uh, I have done that. I have done that. I was a Boy Scout at one point. Ah, see, there you go, living the life, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but no, okay, so uh, what survival job? I, I, I worked at a hotel uh, doing in-room dining stuff. And, uh, and so that, that means you go into the room and cook for them. Uh, I, I cook, and, or I don't cook, but I bring up the cooked food to them. Oh, okay. And uh, it's, yeah. And so um, 
I worked there during the Oscars when everybody was flying into town for for cool. that whole shindig, mm. and I would walk into so many like orgies and shit, <laughs> and uh, and and it was crazy. Like there was this one where uh, this guy was, I guess, hoping for like a foursome. He had two women like just on him, and then one just like sat at the edge of the bed, looking sad the whole time. <laughs> and uh and you know as guests you want them to feel comfortable you know the sky is yeah. blue this is a foursome whatever and uh and, and so i like set set the food down and i had to hand you know the the checkbook to somebody <laughs> uh-huh. and so i was kind of like you know holding it out trying not to look <laughs> And uh, and, all and awkward with it. the sad one t- took it from me and signed it. And I go thank you, and my eyes actually accidentally met hers. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> accidentally, and, yeah. Like you I'm, saw I'm, the like, desperation. Like, yeah. just, and uh, what and the fuck I, is going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without asking her anything, she just says, "They just want me to watch." Oh, what? Oh. And uh. And I just kind of glanced at what, what? Was, at the other three in the bed, and they were obviously way more attractive than she was. So I think she kind of like, you oh know, my, how horrible got, that got is. edged out. And so that's she probably... was like the ugly friend that the hot friends brought. Like it's okay, you'll protect us from the guys. And then just, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, you can't leave though because you have to protect us from the guys. But you're with the guy right now. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> no, you gotta you protect the, Yeah, you gotta protect us from the other ones. Yeah. Oh God. And uh, and and that was that was one of the Oscar parties that, that was going hor- on. That's yeah. so horrible. Yeah. Well, like why? Why? Yeah, I I think it was probably like a like a cuckold thing or cuckwean or whatever it's called. Like a where like some, she was someone, his wife. Yeah, maybe. That's that's what I tell myself to make it okay. That, that, <laughs> I know that doesn't make it okay. I feel Maybe like that's, that's what they're weird. into. I don't I know. know. Some people are into that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was like her husband's birthday and it's like, all right, I'll just sit here and watch you have mm-hmm. fun. Yeah. Oh, Cody Halliman really? just joined. He knows. He used to work with me over at that hotel. Really? He, he, that guy's got stories. Ah, oh, man. I, yeah. I, the hotel, I hear there's some weird shit going on in hotels all the time. I used to have another friend that worked at a hotel. Crazy fucking party. Cops had to get, had to get called and everything. Next thing you know, there's a naked woman running through the hallways, you know, trying to run away from the fucking cops. Like... Mm party <clears throat> hotel rooms that's where it is. <laughs> i uh i walked into a room one time with like 12 naked dudes just standing around and uh and i <laughs> I, I had like all these cheeseburgers like stacked up so i guess everybody built up an appetite for whatever was <laughs> going to go down <laughs> oh or might God. have already <laughs> gone down i don't know what if they what if they yeah. just saw you and they're like oh finally fuck the cheeseburger <laughs> <laughs> i i was very flattered that i was asked yeah. to stay i was like that's <laughs> that's very sweet <laughs> you want some of these burgers man <laughs> it's not my scene but thank you so much that you are making me blush still you know <laughs> oh man i think i would have hung out just to be like yeah. There, there was this one time where, where I did, uh, where I did hang out for a little while. Um, there was this one woman uh, that had like. Was she naked too? She, she was. Nice. She was, she was oh, naked. Yeah. There she, you go. She That's was the jackpot right there. Very naked, and uh, she had her uh, best friend with her, uh, a guy who was also very naked, and they, uh, she was into guys, and uh, he was also into guys, and so they were, they were like. <laughs> What can we do to make this happen? And uh, no way. It, it, I, I didn't. I didn't actually. I didn't actually do anything. Yes. I just kind of sat up there and kind of like had conversation. Yeah. She had an ankle bracelet that was beeping, and so oh. <laughs> and so we kind of got into conversation about oh her beeping ankle bracelet. And so that yeah, is fucking horrible. Yeah. Well, apparently she has a few DUIs, and she was stalking her ex, who was engaged to her ex friend. But so, who? Then who was the fucking guy? Like why? I I have no idea. I have no. I just a friend of why hers. Why even invoke a, an orgy? Then like yeah, we're here spying on somebody. But can you fuck us real quick? She she <laughs> she wanted she wanted me to definitely sleep with her. And he wanted to possibly sleep with you. Like. I, I think, he, I think he, yeah, I think he wanted to. Yeah, sneak he in. wanted to be the train. Yeah. Like. 
<laughs> he was going to be the conductor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a good one. I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, I <laughs> I go on Craigslist right every now and then just to see what's up. You know, like yeah. I hear weird shit goes on down there, and I'm like, I, yeah, it's true. Like I don't doubt that shit like that goes on. Like I'm not. Oh yeah. I'm not really surprised. I guess it's just even better to hear like someone firsthand experience it. I've mm-hmm. got friends in New York that have free rent because they went on Craigslist and some guy was like, I will let you live here for free. You'll have your own room, you know, your own bathroom. Wait, wait, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. But they have to let him shave their ass. Something like that. Okay. They, they have was to, close. they have to put on exercise clothes and twice a week they have to work out in front of him. And they have to help each other, spot each other. Twice a week, they just have to stay healthy and run to this guy. Oh and they God. have free rent. That's like... I, I, right? I mean, dude, free what rent? What do you do? Like, free, I go about free rent. It. Free rent like, in Manhattan. That's, yeah. that's like yeah. free your rent bathroom. in Hollywood. It's not like free rent and you're sleeping on somebody's couch. Like free rent, you have your own room. You got your own room. And bathroom. Just twice a week. You guys have to work out in front of this old guy. Would you do it? Ugh. Think about it. I would do it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I, I know. Mean, yeah. I mean, it's like, whatever. As long Maybe. as he's not beaten off while we're doing yeah. it, then yeah, cool. I, I didn't hear any stories about beating off. Okay. So it's probably it's in probably the clear. Just, it's probably right, fine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> then fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, totally. Why not? <laughs> it's, that's so strange. Though. Yeah. <laughs> No, that is it's so strange. Amanda looks visibly shook right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm like I'm, I'm picturing it in my head. I'm me like, too, and I can't stop, and it's fucking me up right now. It's I know. Me up <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm thinking about it. I mean, that does sound really, really easy. I'm like, sure, but then I think, what would I tell my parents? Like, oh, who's your roommate? Or are, are you doing okay? For, like financially? This old fucking guy then. He's like, oh yeah, just this old guy. Who yeah. I just have to work out in front of twice oh, a week. Oh, so you would actually tell your, your parents. No, you know, I, God, no, least, I wouldn't. No. At but, least it like, wasn't as bad as what I thought. I was like, yeah, dude, like shave, yeah, shave, shave my him. asshole. <laughs> like, you gotta, let, you gotta let me shave your asshole. Do like, what you will. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I've, yeah, I've heard stories about that, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's people that have had stories like that. Like, yeah, I stayed at some guy's house and all he wanted me, all he wanted was to shave my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, what's the what's the worst that can come out of it? You got a clean ass, and <laughs> my goal in life is to be the guy that posts those ads. <laughs> 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 to be like so rich that it's just like I'm just gonna have some young you kids, young desperate yeah. kids. You just need a place to oh, stay, dude. Yeah. That would be fucking badass. Like, come out with some dance, crazy my puppets. Fucking, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, all right, you can stay here for free, but once a month you gotta you gotta reenact the whole scene of like Titanic. Or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we actually gotta hang you off the balcony. <laughs> Life goals. Life oh goals. my god! I know that. Yes, that. Oh man, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that'd be funny. Have you pulled any uh, great practical jokes like that? Like, I feel like that. That like you. If someone did do that, like, how could you be mad? Like. I uh, I I did post uh, when I moved out here. My buddy David was like, uh, "I'm about to leave Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you do me a favor?" And I was like, "What's up, man?" And he was like, "I've always wanted to know someone that put themselves on like the the personals ad, you know, for <laughs> Craigslist." Mm-hmm. And, uh, and yes. he was like, "Will you do it?" And I was like, "Sure, why not?" Yeah. yeah. Like it. So I, I, I put myself up there, and I, I got, like, the seediest responses. Yes. The seediest responses. Like, what are your feet like? <laughs> <laughs> send, send me pictures of your feet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what did your back pimples look like? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just ugh, weird stuff. I know. How hairy are uh, your legs? Um, but, like, uh, in terms of, of, like, pranks and stuff, uh, I think the last prank... I ever did was uh was on my girlfriend. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not really big on pranks. Mm-hmm. Uh but you always gotta fuck with your girlfriends or oh, boyfriends. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I, well, yeah. okay, let me like yeah. Oh well, I mean, because I pull <laughs> pranks on people all the time. Well, mostly my drunk passed out friends. Like 
Yeah, Holy but you shit. just like I to fuck with fuck, them yeah, and torture them, draw on them and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got actually I got a pretty good so good but go ahead. Oh, it it's it's actually it's it's actually very uh boring. In fact, um <laughs> she, she we okay, so our bathroom you know, like she likes to have the shower curtain open uh-huh. because uh she doesn't like it closed because someone could be hiding, hiding behind there. Yeah. yeah. Understandable to some degree, you know. And so no, I, uh, that's actually uh there's a term for that. I can't remember what it is, but yeah. Oh, I always check mm-hmm. shower curtains and yeah. shit, especially hotel rooms, anything. I'm yeah. like, anybody in here now? Okay. Yeah. And so uh, and one day I was like, I am going to hide in this bathtub. Oh and eventually God. she's going to need to use the restroom <laughs> and I'm going to jump out and scare the shit out of her. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and so I, I'm like all like hidden. The lights are off and everything. I'm just like sitting there just like waiting and waiting and waiting. And, uh, and I look at my phone. I'm like, okay, like five minutes from now, she'll need to use the restroom. Yeah. Like five minutes rolls by. It turns into 10 minutes and then turns into 30 minutes. So I was <laughs> like, waiting there all day. I was in a bathtub <laughs> for like two and a half hours before I was like, I'm calling it. You know, I'm, I'm getting <laughs> out of here. So, uh, yeah, that, that one didn't work out so well. That was just a waste of a day. <laughs> oh, man, that would have been so good, though. I know that would have been good. <clears throat> good idea, just no. not just properly poor, executed. Poor execution, yeah. What was the last one I did on you? I know I always do... I don't know. Oh, you do always shit. jump out at yeah, me and do, do weird shit. shit. <laughs> no, but, uh, oh, man, my I feel bad. At the same time, I don't. But whenever my friends pass out, I always, always draw on them. Like that's my fucking thing. I keep, like I'm, I'm like Jigglypuff, dude. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. And, like they, they, as soon as they're asleep, I pull out the shirt, just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just tag them all up and everything. <laughs> I know we've got pictures, um, lots of pictures, we're lots here. of lots of fucking pictures. Some of the best ones though are uh, it was Fourth of July. I wrote shit or no, yeah, no, 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 no. I wrote fuck. Across my friend's forehead, nice, big giant nice. fucking letters. Gave him an eye patch uh-huh. with black sharpie, yeah. all black sharpie and everything. <laughs> and then on my other friend Tyler, <laughs> we wrote all over his face too, on the whole half of his face. And then <laughs> he turned around and his butt cheeks were hanging out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I pulled his pants down even more and I drew shit all over his ass too. <laughs> uh-huh. And the the greatest part about the greatest thing about that story though is that after he woke up he was like oh fuck like <laughs> like you got me you got my face and everything yeah <laughs> later that night several hours that night when he finally got home <laughs> and was showering he fucking get, he gets out of the shower he said he oh, got out God. of the shower text me he's like did you fucking draw on my <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh my great. god, that reminds me oh, about the time man. you drew on Nikki. Um, oh man, wait, uh, okay, there's two times that I drew on my, on my friend Nikki. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's a very easy target. I, I can't I draw on him anymore because I, like, I, I, out, I outdid we'll scar myself. Him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I outdid Aww. myself on, on one of them. Oh, one of them was so perfect though because he didn't yeah. find it till way later. Uh, yeah, it, well, the, yeah, the, first, the first really bad one that I felt kind of bad mm-hmm. um, was for St. Patty's Day. It was St. Patty's Day, and we killed a whole bottle of Jameson. Uh huh. But nice. he, but he, he was at on a level of drunk that where he wasn't asleep, but he wasn't awake either. Okay. So oh, I like thought, so yeah, I thought he was asleep. So I started drawing on him and everything, and then he would start making noises and mumbling <laughs> and everything. And I was like, oh fuck! Like, <laughs> oh <No>, god! <laughs> and then I realized I was like, wait, like he still has no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> so then I'm like, yo, dude. Pick your head up, man. <laughs> let me see. Like you look into the light. Like let me look up into the light. Let me yeah. see. Like so, he would pick his head up, and I would be able to get under his chin. <laughs> I, gave him, I gave him a beard. I gave him a beard and everything. And then I told him, I was like, "Let me see your hands, dude." And he would pick up his hands, and I drew all over his oh, hands, all yes. over his fingers. And uh, what are, I put? Skate or die. Skate or die. Skate or die across his knuckles, nice. and we took a picture of him like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, horror. So I felt bad after that one. The, 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 yeah, I felt really bad after that one. But there was a second time where he did it, and this is one of the most prouder ones that I have because it was he, so good. Yeah, because uh, he because he was actually thinking about keeping it. Okay. Okay. I drew uh, uh, Gengar from Pokemon. <laughs> no but way. With, but with the Squirtle Squad glasses. Nice. Yeah. That's he, cool. Yeah. I, That's I, cool. Yeah. Because I don't I don't know how to really draw eyes or anything, but I can do shades. Yeah. So I drew the Squirtle Squad glasses, but I drew Gengar around, like Gengar wearing the Squirtle Squad glasses, and he <laughs> yeah. 
And then he got up the next morning, went home and everything. And the next day, he uh, he had it on Snapchat. And he was like, I don't know which motherfucker did this. <laughs> But I'm actually not even mad about it. Dude. <laughs> but thank yeah, you. Dude, it's like, he's like, but this is bad. <laughs> That's awesome. You should kick it up a notch and next time use henna ink. Oh, oh that, shit. Yeah, just like draw a dick going into his it. mouth oh. with henna oh, ink. That's that dude's got to live with it for a month. <laughs> They go to his oh job like that. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, man. No, my friends are going to hate you. Lose that. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, oh, that would be too perfect. Not this. Oh, <laughs> Not this. See, that's why I'm terrible at pranks. I'm like, yeah, good job, Dan. You got someone fired. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's livelihood's at stake now. <laughs> yeah, so, someone had to meet uh, their girlfriend's parents for the first time. <laughs> With henna ink of yeah, a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Their dad didn't really like that. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine that'd be so fucked up. Oh, so many ideas right now. <laughs> imagine, like, yeah, if, if you had to, like, meet, like, the girlfriend's father. He's like, mm-hmm. oh, dad, he likes to sleep. I'm oh, sorry, man. you know. <laughs> His friends yeah, make yeah, poor like choices. How fu- like, how fucking embarrassed you have to be, too. Like, it, I don't... Well, well, uh, I just have to put a Band-Aid over it and be like, sorry, well, you know, someone tried to you know, slash my mouth. I don't know. I would, I, I would have to put a Band-Aid on yeah. it. Yeah. Put a Band-Aid and say, oh, cut my shelf shaving. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. That was it. Yeah. I've definitely been written on before, though, after passing out and everything. Well, yeah, because karma. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I remember one time my friends, started, my friends told my mom that I was smoking weed, and I was like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked it. Like, they threw me straight under the bus, and I was like, oh, uh, uh, you must have been under young, pressure. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, of course. I was, yeah, yeah. we were young. I was like in eighth grade, man. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, I wasn't even, definitely was not supposed to be smoking at that time. <clears throat> but, um, that's that bad. What, what's the worst situation your friends have ever put you in? Well, other than oh. the Craigslist ad, that's, I mean, you know, I, I grew well, up. you kind of did that on yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most of the stuff I end up doing by myself. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, um, it's usually how it goes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I, I, I not necessarily like pranks. Um, there was there was this one time I I used to go adventuring with my mm-hmm. friends. Uh, we would get drunk uh, and then venture out into the woods to play Survivor. If you uh, made it out of the woods alive, you won. And so uh, we we did that a lot as kids uh, in in high school. And uh, this one no, time, wait, wait, wait. So you would actually just go into the woods and be like, "Find your way back." Yep. Later, guys. Yep. That's what you do in Texas. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, let's get tanked, and then you go that way, I'll go this way, way, and then we'll and then we'll, we'll try meet to, up. Yeah, we'll try to meet up at this point. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. so horrible. Yeah, because <laughs> like rattlesnakes mm. and other stuff. Um, Man, dude, that's gonna be awesome though. Uh, Texas. We uh, we ended up finding each other uh on this uh there's like a, a sewage pipeline that would span across this creek that was about 40 feet up and uh and i had trekked through mud and so crossing it i yeah yes sir thank you crossing it um the mud was still on my shoe and i slipped on the pipe and kind of dangled there for like you know a little while luckily uh my buddy uh was able to come get me so that was that I was mean, probably yeah, like, like yeah, go, go, go coming yeah. to the rescue right there. Yeah, but it was it was his idea that we should uh, go across yeah, this, this pipe. <laughs> so that's probably it. Just listening to my friends like a lemmings, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's the worst choice you can do is listen to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, totally, it's going to work. It's totally <laughs> safe. Yeah, we can totally support our weight. No problem. But I know. I know it could have been worse. It could have just been like. Uh, Left you out there and being like, "Hey guys, go look at fucking dad <laughs> over here." You fucking <laughs> here's here's another one uh, where it was a, a terrible idea. I, I I went to college in New York City, and uh, and my buddies and I were like, we're going to go to Central Park at midnight and get high, just like really, really fucking high. I heard, mm. Yeah, I heard Central Park is pretty sketchy at night in oh, yeah. general. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we were uh, we were going to go, and uh, my buddy Michelle's like, here, I've got some mace. Take this mace with you. Uh, in the event that you run into trouble, you can at least like apprehend them a little bit and run. <laughs> you can at least blind yeah. them for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which sounds like a good idea, yeah. ex- except uh, once we got there and uh, and lit up under this bridge, we thought it would be a great idea to fuck around with this mace. 
Oh, of course. <laughs> we were so high. Oh we're like, I wonder what this stuff smells yeah. like. And so my buddy uh, sprays Sprayed it a little bit. and then walked like like walked through it like you would with perfume, mm, perfume or something. Yeah, cologne. And uh, and he he started like crying a little bit. And uh, my other buddy that I was with was like, No, like, no way, I won't try. You're a pussy. And then yeah. grabs it and sprays himself in the face. Oh my starts god! Starts crying. And uh, the other guy is like, you know, loyalty. I'll, I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> <laughs> Like himself in the eyes. Yeah. It's a blood oath now. We're all fucking doing it. And they're like, Dan, do it. Dan, do it. I'm like, no, I'm a pussy. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. You I can smell okay. it from here in like, my no, pride. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm fucking smart. How about that? Yeah. So we, we, we went into a McDonald's. I took them to a McDonald's. I'm the only one that can see. Yeah. So we, we, went, we walked into a McDonald's. You're throwing cups of water in their face and shit. They put themselves under the spigots oh, and nice. just poured the water from, you know, oh, onto their man. eyes. Oh my god! And yeah. the, I'm sure that's not the craziest thing those McDonald's mm-hmm. workers have seen no. that night. <laughs> Man, that's fucking horrible. Yeah, but uh, but it was a memorable night. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, shout out <laughs> to those guys. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> to the mystery people. Wait, ah, fuck. See, I need the X Files one. That's that's the next one. That's the next sound back. Yep. <laughs> Uh, but it, always yeah. in the spirit of Halloween, well, in the spirit of Halloween because it is October now, I do yeah. want to revisit our whole uh, ghost paranormal. Do you have any ghost paranormal experiences or anything? Oh, yeah. Have you ever had a, a weird oh, experience yeah. with the great beyond, I would say? Absolutely. Uh, bless you. Uh, Thank you. There. <laughs> um, yeah, I was staying in Boston uh, with a friend's family. And uh, everybody was like, hey, you've got this room. Is that okay? I'm like, yeah, sure. And they're like, just so you know. That's the ghost room. <laughs> <laughs> Already warning you going in, like and, uh, shit goes down in that room right there. I was like, uh, "That's cool." Please elaborate mm. on the ghost room. Yeah, and uh, they're like, "Well, this house used to be a barn, you know, and saved the town of Canton, Massachusetts, way back like hundreds of years ago. Save the town, save the town, because it had the only well with water. Oh. And every, I guess everything had dried up, and some guy killed himself there." Way back okay. in the day, like the farmer of this farm. And then it had been converted into a house, and then, mm. you know, like a century into, later, yeah, they then... move in or whatever. And so <clears throat> and so I'm staying in this, uh, in this room, and it's really late, really late. And uh, I'm about to fall asleep when the TV turns itself off. I thought that was kind of strange, but it could have been on like a timer. Timer, you know? yeah. And so, Very explainable. Yeah. So I, I just kind of ignored it. And uh, I was a, I was a, like seconds from falling asleep when I felt like a pound, like one fist hit my right shoulder. Really? You got physical mm-hmm. contact, man. And I thought to myself, whatever. That's probably one of those like weird muscle spasms you yeah. can yeah. have like Which right ha- before you. Yeah, again, yeah. again yeah. that happens. Yeah. yeah. It's explainable. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so I was like, well, I am in the ghost room, yeah. you know, uh, so whatever. You know, uh, and try to be brave about it and uh, close my eyes again. And I'm awake, but I felt it again on my left shoulder. And I was like, well, if it was a muscle spasm, wouldn't it be like the same muscle? Same, yeah, you same know, muscle, or, same or some, spot, yeah. usually. And, and wouldn't mm-hmm. I be closer to being asleep? Mm. And so uh, and I, I, I woke up, you know, fully opened my eyes and threw the the light on thought my, it was my buddy possibly hiding in the room somewhere uh-huh. so I checked the closet and everything mm-hmm. and while I'm in the closet you know like hey bud come on out mm-hmm. the TV turned on I was like oh well that's weird, weird. It, it, yeah. it is it is an old house though mm-hmm. so it could be like faulty electrical stuff you yeah know? so far we're like alright it could be this yeah. could be the yeah. old place yeah and so uh, I was I was like whatever I'm just gonna leave the TV and let mm-hmm. it be it'll, I'm sure it'll turn itself turn off turn itself off yeah. again yeah and so satisfied that no one was around and that it was just my imagination because someone told me it was the ghost room I went mm-hmm. back right. to bed well I could hear someone uh, downstairs you know like that very distinct clicking of someone turning lights on and off on and off and yeah. so uh, mm-hmm. I looked at the door and you could see lights coming on and uh, off on and off mm-hmm. Illumin- yeah, illumination yeah, down the hallway then down then the stairs down, yeah. mm-hmm. and so I opened the door to be like ha ha you're an idiot yeah. and no, I got you motherfucker yeah and the light just stayed on mm. just on it stopped flickering and uh, and there was no clicking sound either, and so I was like, "Oh, that's really strange. That's really strange." Mm-hmm. And uh, I knew it wasn't 
my friend because my friend had sleep apnea and had to have one of those like CPAP machines. So uh-huh. you could like mm-hmm. hear him breathing in the next room. Yeah. <laughs> and so well, I... Brian needs one of those. Yeah. 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 By, yeah. by this Ryan point, I'm a little bit weirded out, a yeah. little bit freaked. Uh-huh. So I, I kind of like mm-hmm. go back in my room. Strange yeah. And everything, yeah. And I could hear footsteps coming up the stairs and mm-hmm. they're old oh, creaky God. stairs. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well now some th- there's enough weight to this. Someone has to be there. So I opened up my door and go, ha ha, still no one there. Yes, and it had up. stopped mm-hmm. completely. And it doesn't, like the, the whole experience doesn't even stop there. I closed the door and I was like, that's really strange. Now I'm really weirded out. And you could see that there were like footprints on the outside mm-hmm. of the door. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, so someone's definitely standing there. And I go, hey. If you're there, leave me alone. I'm just trying to sleep. And the lights turned off. And then I didn't hear anything on that side. And then for maybe like five minutes later, I heard creaking again on the other side of the room. And I was like, that's really strange. So I was like trying to figure out where, because there was a mm-hmm. wall there. I was like, mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out where the sound is coming where the, yeah, from. Where the creak could be coming yeah. from. Yeah. And there was uh, a bookcase, and I moved it, and there was a door behind the bookcase. And I opened up the door, and it's just darkness. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck no. Fuck I'm not that. going in there. Yeah. Fuck this that. This is a secret door so to nothing. I, I closed it's it. It's a secret door to hell. <laughs> yeah, I, I fucking closed that door. <laughs> well, welcome the, to hell, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to hell, daddy boy. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, shit. But there, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> No uh, fucking way, though. Like, uh, okay, so you so found eerie. like a secret like compartment yeah. to the house. So so sketchy, mm-hmm. so scary, and uh, and it w- after that, like the the steps just kind of disappeared into mm-hmm. nothingness, and uh, and so I finally fell asleep. The next morning, I was uh, kind of comparing my story uh, to my hosts and mm-hmm. saying, "This is what I experienced," you know, in the ghost room, and they're like, "Oh, you have met Edgar." And I was like, but, Edgar. And I'm like, Edgar. oh, yeah, that's the guy that killed himself in that room and blah, blah, blah. And I was like... <laughs> All normal, nonchalant. Yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. nonchalant. And uh, and I was talking about my whole experience, and they go, uh, you know what? It's a good thing you didn't go into the attic, because that's where he lives, and he gets really mad if you go into the attic. And is and that the little that's doorway? That's the door led into the attic. Oh, shit. Jeez. See, and then he was tempting you. He was like, come up here, motherfucker. Come up. <laughs> yeah, that's like, fuck up here. Nope. That's fucking crazy. That's not happening. Fucking crazy. I know. Oh, my God. That's nuts. But it seemed like he was just fucking with you. Like, he mm. wasn't actually like, get out. But he was more like, yeah, let me bug this guy. For Dude, a while. Who knows? What if I, I, what, I, mean, yeah, what if I was dumb enough to like go and like, yeah, yeah I'm going to go, go into there, this yeah. yeah you know but like i had luckily seen enough scary movies to know that's how you die yeah right <laughs> know, right go insane and just disappear yeah what, what about you guys Do you guys have any paranormal activity stories uh, not really we, yeah we I, well uh we went through some last week i actually still have some more that i uh kept locked and loaded for the okay the cool yeah. i Bye. already told <laughs> yeah. my freaking two stories <clears throat> that i had um at um my Cousin, sorry, I'm going through this. My cousin had a, uh, his dad had a wedding up in a town called Benton, California, which was founded in 1898 or something. Like Rock and eight, roll. Like eight, yeah, like in the 1800s, that's when it was founded and everything. But it is not a town anymore. It's not a town. It's actually a resort. It's a, it's a uh, hot spring resort. Cool. They, yeah, they have little uh, hot springs outside that you fill up and everything, you know, chill, all natural cool shit like that and uh there's okay. an old victorian house there that you can rent out for weddings and everything so that's what they did and they actually rented the whole entire campground so um our entire party is there and everything and everybody kept it like uh everybody like that was the talk was like oh did you check out that old creepy house man like it's fucking crazy like mm-hmm. and it really is like you get to the house and it's a really fucking old house like you can tell that it that was the house that was built first and then the town was established around it. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that that is the house that, you know, where, that was city, city Hall, I guess, you know, or whatever. Yeah. And um, you go inside and everything, and it's it, they fixed it up to, you know, to be like a little bed and breakfast type okay. deal. Okay. And um, it's a two-story house, but when you walk through, there's no stairs. 
There's a couple hmm. door. There's a couple doors, but when you go in there, they're either closets or the kitchen or or bathroom. You know, there's no way to get upstairs. Strange. That was the first thing that I noticed. Yeah. <clears throat> um, second thing that I noticed was uh, the when you go into the kitchen where they where they redid because apparently I talked to the the caretaker of the place. They remodeled the whole house to make it look different. Okay. So where the kitchen was was actually the entrance to the stairway. Uh-huh. And he and he apparently he was the one that that tore down the stairs. Okay, he was like, yeah, I tore down the stairs. Like, check it out. Like, this, this is where they were. And you look against the wall, and you can see exactly where the stairs were, like huh. attached to the wall. Yeah. And uh, and he was like, yeah, like, um, yeah, we like we close off the attic. We don't we don't let anybody go up onto the second floor. Uh, I he didn't say why. I didn't ask him why. Like if we were all partying and getting. And that's all where the up. child yeah. porn is. <laughs> <laughs> that's my secret stash up there. <laughs> but he, yeah, he was just like, yeah, we, he was like, yeah, like you know, just we don't go up there. Like he, there's no, there's no point. Like it's unsafe. That's what he said. It's uh, it's unsafe up there. Like so, I was thinking, you know, at the time, oh, because it, the house is so old. If you go up there, you know, you could just fucking fall yeah, right that through. Makes sense, yeah, 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 fall right through and everything. Um. But it's g ghosts. Yeah. So uh, the first night, the first night, uh, everybody wakes up and everything, and the people who are staying inside of the house were like the like the grandkids and kids of the bride and groom, and like the you know the close nephews mm-hmm. and everything. And then, of course, the wedding party. The bride and the groom were in the house. Um, the first night that they were there, books flew off of the shelves. Ugh. Yeah, books <laughs> flew off of the shelves. And uh, and not only not only did they fall off the shelves, but when they flew off, they were flew off two at a time and stacked on top of each other. Oh uh, god! Yeah. So that yeah, like that's even more you know like that's real particular Eerie, yeah. and everything. Yeah. yeah. And um, one of the books that fell uh, had opened, and when it was opened, it was like all like all this highlighted weird shit, like and like Ooh. nobody yeah nobody wanted to read it. Ooh, cliff yeah. notes. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, but there were like weird lines highlighted, like you know, like uh, like you know, like goat dinner stuff, shit, like goat know, the dinner, sac- yeah, the goat <laughs> dinner, the, or like the sac- like sacrifice of blah 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 for whoever. Like, I'll go to yeah, a sacrifice fucking, for was, a delicious goat it was dinner. Just weird, like like <laughs> yeah, it, it was weird. Just weird weird entries inside inside these books, uh-huh. and so uh, I was like, man, I want to fucking. Like that would that would that would be cool to fucking experience this shit. So oh, yeah. so the second night when everybody's partying and everything, everybody's asleep. Um, I kind of just like sat there, you know, just like waited around for a little bit. It was all quiet. And everybody was was winding down, mm-hmm. and you can hear foot like people running outside. Like it sounded awesome. like kid, yeah, like kids playing outside. Like you could, it, it was clear as day. Like you could totally feel. You mm-hmm. could hear the patter of the grass outside. And uh, I was like, ah, oh, man, like that's fucking crazy, you know. Like, no, but that that was the only thing that happened. Like, I didn't really see anything after that. Yeah. Yeah. The day after, though, was the day that we were leaving, and um, you know, we're saying our goodbyes to everybody in the house and everything. Although that was where, the, again, the wedding party, wedding party was the bride, the groom, and the best man, my cousin's dad, and all that. Um, so we're saying bye to everybody. We're packing our shit up. We go outside to the front yard and uh, load stuff up into the car and. Um, I look up at the house. I'm just looking at the house like, fuck, like this is a really fucking creepy house. Like it was not <laughs> disappointing. Yeah. Um, just real quick, cla- real quick glance up in the side, uh, up to the, the second window. You, c- It looked like someone was holding the curtain with their hand oh, and the curtain God. fell. Yeah. It, it, but the curtain fell. Like I only, yeah. I only caught it as the curtain was coming down. That's yeah. always how it goes. But yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, but it, yeah. it was, yeah, it looked like some like somebody was like holding it off to the side. And as soon as like, as soon as I picked up at it, like it fell down and I was like, Oh, fuck. yeah, uh-huh. that, but yeah, I definitely want to go back to that town and like, Go Ghost hunt? The, yeah, go, yeah, go back <laughs> that to the That would be house. dope. Dude, actually, okay, another thing about that place, though, where the campsite was, where we were exactly were staying, there was a hill right behind us. If you go to the top of that hill was the cemetery for that town. Fuck yeah. So you go there, there's graves so old that there's not even words on the tombstones. They're wow. just fucking rocks. Wow. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. just rocks that look like had something inscribed in them at once, but it's so worn down and, and fucking it's eerie. weathered. That yeah, there was nothing, and there was even graves that were unmarked too, unmarked mm-hmm. graves. 
Fuck yeah. Yeah, it was, oh man, it was it's cool. fucking crazy, crazy. Like, you, really? you think like old ghost town western? Yeah. That one is a fucking ghost, ghost town. town. That's like, dope. Yeah. yeah, it was fucking crazy, man. I love, yeah, I love that place. I want to go back and experience it again. Yeah, oh. I wish I had cool experiences like that. Yeah. The only experience I have a ghost, I told last time, I'll make it real <clears> quick, <throat> tell you. Um, it was just my grandpa fucking with us. Okay. We're, we have a picture of him on top of the piano, and uh, we were talking about him. And then out of nowhere, across the room, the picture just flies off the piano. Oh, wow. Like, just full on flies not off. Not even like earthquake stuff. It not flew. Even, not even earthquake. Didn't, it didn't like tip over and then stumble. It like, it was just like, it was thrown or pushed really mm. hard. It was like, so we we're pretty sure that he's just fucking with, he was fucking with us. Yeah. Um, oh, but I wanted to ask you because I did actually have a kind of a weird experience at uh, your Nana's house. Are, are there ghosts there? Have you heard of anything? I, no. no, no, I haven't. I haven't had an experience because no, I know Nana says something about a ghost in the attic. She, yeah, she's think. Yeah, she's, she think. Okay, so I was home by myself and I was doing the dishes. The I don't. I don't. Don't get me wrong. I do sometimes get the feeling that like okay, like. I, I feel like I'm not alone. Yeah. Okay. But I but nothing's actually happened. Like nothing's you know been really okay. Out so there. what had happened? I was doing what dishes. Happened? What ha- happened was <laughs> I was doing dishes in the kitchen, and the sink is right in the corner. So there's a window right there, and behind me to my right, there's the door to the living room. Behind me to my left, there's like the front room. Okay. And. Over my right shoulder, where the back room is, I hear this giggle behind me, oh, God. and then pitter patter. Oh. I hear, I just hear like a little giggle and pitter patter. It sounds oh. really faint. Yeah, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe it was the dog. Maybe, maybe it was, maybe it was just the dog. And I look over to my other side, and I see the dogs in the front room. He was just like he was within, like I could see him. It was clearly not him yeah. making those noises, and that was it. I just heard a little giggle and pitter, pitter patter. I'm like, oh. I don't know, because it was kind of near where the attic is or the entrance to the attic is. Like, yeah. Like, and even if it was the dog, area. then you're. It's like, oh, my dog giggles. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus. You know? I don't know. He makes some know, weird right? ass noises. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> He's Ryan's dog for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they both for sleep. Sure. They both have that sleep apnea <laughs> snore. Mm, seriously. <laughs> when Ryan was uh, when we were living with uh, Ryan and uh, they'd all be sleeping in the room, we would hear uh, it was like a symphony of snoring. And sometimes both of their snores were perfectly timed, or one would snore <laughs> the other. It was just like one long continuous snore. Nice. Mm-hmm. And Ryan, uh, Ryan actually tells me uh, I know a lot of Ryan's ghost ghost experience, ghost experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, he tells about this story one time at our old house when um, he got he woke up late at night wanting to go to the bathroom, but he heard somebody go into the bathroom, so he didn't go. Hmm. They never came out and fell back to sleep. Woke up the next morning and our mom came up to him and was like, "Hey." what took you so long in the bathroom last night? <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? She was like, I heard you get up and go to the bathroom, but you were in there for hours. I fell back asleep. Mm. And he was like, I thought you got up and went to the bathroom and you fell asleep in there. And he's like, that's why I fell asleep. And so, yeah, both of them simultaneously got up to go to the bathroom because they're mother and son. I guess they have fucking. <laughs> and here's, sheep. here's where the truth is. This is what <laughs> really happened. So mom heard somebody go into the bathroom, which was Ryan, rubbing one out for hours <laughs> and then sneaking back into sneaking his room. Back, yeah, that's so exactly when he's it. called out on it the next day, like, no, 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 that was I, you. I, I, yeah, I, I'm equally freaked out. It's debunked to see if you figured you out, motherfucker. <laughs> well, Dad, it's been a fucking great time having you in here, man. Yeah. Thank you so man, much thank you for so coming much for in. Yeah, me. it's been a fucking wonderful time. Uh, Remember, you can always catch Rat Talk on SoundCloud, iTunes, and everything. And you can follow Dan at, uh, on Facebook. And go ahead and plug it, your it's shit. It's Dan mm-hmm. Penna. Dan Penna, yeah. I've yep. got a real quick plug. Uh, I'm going to be at Flappers on October 11th in the YooHoo room at 9.30 p.m. Cool. Mm-hmm. There you go. And then, oh, yeah. and then what's your Instagram and everything? All that uh, stuff. You at, can at I am Dan Penna. And one that's word. that's on yeah mm-hmm. one word on Snapchat Instagram everything so ah, shit yeah. there you go get it all fucking figured out already 
good shit. And then, of course, like I said, you can follow us on SoundCloud, Instagram, um, SoundCloud, iTunes. Shit. Follow everything Instagram rat underscore talk. Uh, hit us up if you want a T-shirt too. Um, yeah, that too. I mean, we're we, just we, just, them away. we just made I these know. beautiful T-shirts. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're going to be giving them away to a point. We're going to reach a point where it's like, all right, let's sell so them. Get, yeah, get them, like, get them get them now while they're free before we wise up and start selling to you motherfuckers. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So hit us up. But yeah, we do got more shirts coming in the middle of November. That's mm-hmm. what I'm planning on making the second batch. So if we don't got your size now, we'll have it. Yeah. Out. Or let us know <clears> if you <throat> want so we know to stock up mm-hmm. on your size. They're sexy shirts, too. These are the ones right now. Right? Yeah, yeah. These yeah. are the ones that we're in right they're now. Good. Yeah, we're, we're modeling our shit right now. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, there you go. Ninja sound. But uh, we're going to take it out on another song by Caustic. Again, that is K-A-U-S-T-I-K. Look them up on uh, causticband.com. They have all the shit there. You can buy their album. And... Uh, Thank you and good night, man. Uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. All this cool shit. Thank you all for the yeah. good support and uh, thank you. <laughs> 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 again, well, again, thank you, Dan, for coming in, being a great guest. And, thank uh, you we're so gonna much. Take it out on less PC, more fuck you, because I feel like that's what we need nice. right now. Exactly. So uh, this is off of fuck politics. Listen to Caustic. That's uh that's actually the album. That's what the call that's what fuck the album is. Fuck politics listen to caustic. Yep, fuck politics Love it. listen to caustic. Uh bye everybody. It's not illegal to be me! Yeah!